Hello, and have a nice day to everyone. Today, I want to talk about katsu curry, Japan curry with fried chicken. I was born and raised in Nha Trang, Vietnam, but I became a boat person refugee, and I came to Japan with my family in 1980. My family and me moved to Norway in 1982. I still remember my favorite Japanese food recipes. So now, I decided to collect them in one place, so that these recipes can benefit myself or anyone who wants to listen, and now you can also benefit from my solutions too. Katsu curry is a variation of Japanese curry, topped with a chicken cutlet. I used a packet of Japanese curry sauce, which is commonly used in Japanese households. Chicken cutlet, Japanese version of grilled chicken, brings the taste of Japanese curry to the next level. We won't exaggerate when we say that Japanese curry rice, pronounced k e r i s u is the national dish. When the Japanese say curry tonight, it is Japanese curry made with curry sauce. The most popular roux curry in Japan is called Vermont curry. This is one of many curry roux products manufactured by House Food Corporation. When you say Vermont curry, everyone knows it's House Vermont roux curry that contains apples. And honey to cut down on the spiciness. So young children can eat curry. Apparently, the name of Vermont comes from the U.S. state of Vermont, which is known for its folk remedy with apple cider vinegar and honey. At the time of the first TV commercial, this folk remedy was so popular and so loved that House Foods borrowed the name Vermont for three different packs of Japanese curry roux. There are now many types of curry sauce products, see some examples in the image above, and every household has its own favorite curry sauce. Roux makes curry tasting very easy. Stir fry meat and vegetables, add water and cook, then season with roux. You can buy Japanese curry sauce at Japanese or Asian grocery stores, as well as most supermarkets. What's in my katsu curry? Katsu curry is simply rice. And curry with chicken cutlets. Since the cutlet itself is a meat dish, the curry has no meat in it. I cook a curry with three common vegetables, which are used to make Japanese curries. House Vermont curry, medium hot, see sample image of the package in the post. Steam rice. Onion, cut one centimeter wide. Potatoes, cut into 1.5 centimeters cubes. Carrots cut into 7 millimeters thick pieces. Chicken cutlet, Japanese grilled chicken. Cut into strips 2.5 centimeters wide slash one time. h u k u j i n z u k as seasoning, if available. The combination of vegetables can also be varied. Some restaurants serve katsu curry with just plain curry sauce, no vegetables. I don't want to add too many ingredients to the curry. As chicken cutlets are the mainstay of the dish these days. How to make katsu curry? If you are not using pre made chicken cutlets, cook the curry first and fry the chicken cutlets while the curry is cooking. Put oil in a pot, saute the onions until the edges start to turn brown. Put the potato and carrot pieces in the pot, stir well. Add water and bring to a boil. Remove the scum as it emerges. Add curry sauce and bring to a boil. Fry chicken cutlets and cut into thin slices. Put the rice on one side of the plate, put the pieces of meat next to the rice. Pour curry on top, cutlet side and rice side. Put some fuku jinzuk on the plate. Note. Therefore, depending on the brand of curry sauce, the amount of water required to create the correct consistency of the curry will vary. You must read the instructions on the packaging. ATSU curry, great prepared. You can keep Japanese curry for two to three days in the refrigerator and one month in the freezer. However, if you are freezing curries, I strongly recommend avoiding adding potatoes to the curry. The defrosted potatoes become spongy and the texture is not nice. When you reheat a chilled curry, you can add some water to the curry. As the roux thickens as it cools. It's still delicious. There are two ways to reheat frozen curries. It is reheated in the microwave or reheated in a hot tub. When reheating curry in the microwave, stir occasionally. The outside of the curry is heated, 
and even begins to bubble, but the center is usually still frozen. You have to mix hot and cold to speed up defrosting and heating. In hot water diaper rash, you don't have to worry about mixing water from time to time. Place frozen curry cubes in a zippered bag and place in a strainer, which can fit into the boiling water. The filter prevents the plastic from touching the side of the pot, which is very hot. Japanese curry has quite a different flavor and consistency compared to other traditional curries. The sauce is thicker than other curries in the world. It's like the consistency of bechamel sauce. I highly recommend serving the salad with the curry to match the rich flavor of the curry. A fresh salad or steamed with a salad dressing would be perfect. Absolutely, you will cook this dish. I wish you luck and a good meal. If you think this podcast channel makes sense, then you can click the subscribe button while you can choose to receive notifications when new videos are available or not to receive video notifications once you have subscribed. Thank you for listening and following McDonald's podcast. See you for the next videos. With best wishes. MC, Donald's podcast. On March 24, 2023.